been doing things like we did ponds and pond restoration this year and some scrapes so kind of improving those and things like we go around kind of regularly and pollard the willows some of the hedges are getting really big now on the whole farm i want to have a rotation of coppicing hedges um and i've been using the the wood chip from what i've been doing the pollarding to add the muck and the idea is to make that into compost with the slurry from the dairy um, i want to plant some arable land that floods and with um the herbal wetland mix that i've had put in another bit of arable land um because that didn't require any fertilizer it coped with being flooded um and i took yeah one field i took three cuts of silage off last year without doing any um anything to it where other things weren't growing and it it grew so um so i'd like to yeah different bits of the floodplain manage in different ways some more nature friendly in hls some more more intensive but on a regenerative side so I've got lots of ideas for the whole farm, but the meadows, I think they're good how they are. And, yeah, I have been asked whether I want to kind of restore some of the more intensively farmed meadows to make them species rich. But I think if you take everything as species rich, it changes the balance of the farm. And I think you've got, you can't have all, it's got to have that balance between the different um, different ways each of farm. I'm trying to improve the grazing. Um, reduce fertiliser use. I'm planning to put no bagged fertiliser on the whole farm this next year and yeah, trying to do direct drilling and all sorts of other regenerative things but the meadows, they're good how they are. I'm pleased with them. They produce, you know, people want to come and take brush harvested seed and green hay from them to make other fields good so I'm happy that the meadows stay how they are really. Mm -hmm.